Harium and a warm good morning to all. I am Lakshmi Santosh of Standard 11th, studying in Chinmaya Vidyalaya Vardala, present here to speak a few words on the importance of our country, India. From Kashmir in north to Kanyakumari in south lies our country, India, covering about 3.2 million square kilometers. India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world with a kaleidoscopic variety and rich cultural heritage. It has achieved all-round socio-economic progress since its independence. India has become self-sufficient in agricultural production and is now one of the top industrialized countries and one of the few nations to have gone into outer space for the benefit of people. It is also said that out of every seven people we meet, one among them is an Indian. India is the largest democracy the world has ever seen. The harmony with which its people belonging to different caste, class and religion live together is a remarkable feature of India. India had contributed a lot in the field of math and science. In the field of math, ancient Indians had mainly made three distinct contributions. The notation system, the decimal system and the use of zero. India is the birthplace of many great scholars like Aryabhata, Bhaskaracharya and so on. Ayurveda, an old form of treatment used in medicine, has its origin from India. Yoga, another worldwide accepted practice, also has its roots in India. This practice is now adopted by various countries worldwide to maintain its citizens healthy and fit. Yet the saddest thing is that we Indians are foregoing our culture and is going after the Western culture in order to assure ourselves that we are adjusting to the modern world. We ignore our traditional ways, forget our duties and morals and accuses each and every ancient belief, whether they have a scientific explanation or not, as superstitions. While we chase after the Western culture, the Western people started realizing the importance of our culture and, and had begun to inculcate the values and morals from our ancient textbooks into their life. What most of us never felt the need to acknowledge is now revealed to us by the so-called Western culture that we adore. We often criticize our country for not being developed, whereas we put all our effort and human resources in developing the developed countries to reach the apex of development. It is high time we, the young generation, start appreciating our much adored and appreciated Indian culture and strive to project our country to the maximum. Thank you.